Let's get right into it. Number 12. Deja vu. You know that weird I've been here before feeling? Like your brain just glitched and accidentally hit the replay button on reality? Yeah, deja vu feels harmless. Creepy, but harmless. Except, turns out it's basically your brain misfiring like a shorted out toaster. Here's what's actually happening. Your temporal lobe, the part of your brain that handles memory, is supposed to sort experiences into new and old. But sometimes it gets lazy. It sends the familiar signal at the wrong time. And suddenly your brain thinks this random hallway or conversation has happened before. Some scientists think it's related to the same region that triggers seizures, meaning your cute little matrix glitch might be a distant cousin of temporal lobe epilepsy. So when you feel deja vu, you're basically getting a mini electrical burp from the same neighborhood that causes real seizures. It's harmless, sure. But it's also your brain briefly forgetting which timeline you're in. So, fun. Number 11, goosebumps. Ah yes, goosebumps. That adorable little shiver you get during a sad song or when it's cold. Totally normal, right? Except, this is one of those leftover body features from when your ancestors were angry fur balloons. Back when humans were covered in more hair, goosebumps helped trap heat and made us look bigger when threatened like a cat puffing its tail at a vacuum cleaner. But now, without fur, it's just your skin performing a useless intimidation dance. Even worse, the reflex comes from your sympathetic nervous system, the same one that flips into panic mode when you're in danger. So that, ah, chills, feeling, it's your fight-or-flight system misreading a Coldplay song as a saber-toothed tiger. Your body, we're dying. You, no, just listening to Adele. Number 10. Blushing. Here's one for the introverts. When you get embarrassed, your body's first response is to announce it to the room by turning your face into a stoplight. Biologically speaking, that's insane. But the reason is ancient and a little dark. Blushing is caused by adrenaline forcing extra blood into the tiny vessels of your face. It's basically your body's way of saying, don't hurt me, I already know I messed up. Charles Darwin called it the most peculiar and most human of all expressions, and he wasn't wrong. It's a leftover social honesty signal, a submissive display meant to reduce aggression after a social screw-up. So yeah, every time you blush, your body is reenacting a caveman apology ritual to avoid getting clubbed. Adorable, right? Number 9. Shivers from Music Ever listen to a song and suddenly feel chills up your spine? Like someone just whispered, your ancestors are proud? That's called frisson, and it's not just emotion. It's your nervous system getting hit with a sensory jackpot. Music hijacks your reward system, dumping dopamine like you just won the evolutionary lottery. But here's the twist. That same physiological rush originally evolved for survival triggered by things like spotting prey, finding shelter, or, you know, not dying. So when you feel shivers during a chorus, your brain's reward circuits are reacting as if Beyonce just saved your life. Your body can't tell the difference between beautiful harmony and we just outran a lion. So yeah, that song didn't just move you, it triggered your ancient survival wiring. Number 8. Laughter. You laugh when something's funny, or awkward, or terrifyingly inappropriate. But laughter, evolutionarily speaking, started as a defense mechanism. Basically, Ancient humans used laughter to tell the tribe, Hey, relax, that rustling in the bushes isn't a tiger, it's just Steve tripping over his own feet again. It's a tension release signal. When something confuses or scares us but turns out safe, our brain flips from fight or flight to false alarm, and laughter is the sound of that emotional whiplash. Even rats do it when they're play fighting. So yeah, when you laugh at a dark meme or a horror movie jump scare, your body is literally saying, Thank God that's not real danger. Your sense of humor? It's just your primitive stress system learning sarcasm. Number 7. Crying. Tears are weird. They leak from your eyes when you're sad, happy, angry, tired, or even cutting onions. But emotional crying, the kind that happens when your feelings explode, is uniquely human and oddly manipulative. See, scientists think emotional tears evolved as a social signal, a nonverbal way to say, I'm overwhelmed, please don't attack me. It's a form of chemical surrender. Your tear ducts release stress hormones, and your watery face actually makes you appear less threatening. Basically, your ancestors' survival tactic was to cry so predators or angry fellow cavemen would back off. So every time you sob during a Pixar movie, remember, your tears are your body's ancient version of a do-not-disturb sign. Number 6. Yawning. 
Yawning feels like your body being bored. But it's not boredom, it's brain maintenance. And its origin is both social and slightly creepy. Scientists believe yawning originally helped cool the brain by rushing air past major blood vessels in the head like a built-in AC unit for your skull. But then, humans turned it social. We developed contagious yawning, a strange empathy reflex where your brain mirrors another person's state. Seeing someone yawn subconsciously says, I get you, I'm tired too. So yeah, that weird reflex you get during a meeting, it's ancient empathy. You're not bored, you're just overheating and emotionally sinking with the herd. Number 5. The startle reflex. That violent twitch when someone drops a spoon behind you. Classic startle reflex. It's your nervous system throwing a flashbang of adrenaline before your brain even processes what happened. It's an ancient life-saving feature. Back when we weren't at the top of the food chain, reacting a split second faster could mean surviving a snake bite or becoming lunch. Now, you just spill your coffee because someone sneezed too loud. And the best part? You can't train it out. Your startle reflex is hardwired into your spinal cord literally faster than thought. Basically, your body's motto is, panic first, ask questions, never. Number 4. Nostalgia. That warm, fuzzy ache when you hear an old song or smell something from childhood? It feels comforting, but it started as emotional pain management. Nostalgia evolved as a coping tool during stressful times, especially when early humans faced danger, hunger, or isolation. By recalling good memories, the brain could release dopamine and oxytocin to keep morale up. It's the brain's version of self-soothing through emotional time travel. So when you miss the good old days, that's not sentimentality. It's your brain handing you a dopamine pacifier to stop you from emotionally combusting. Number 3. Shaking hands when nervous. You're nervous before a presentation, and your hands tremble like you're holding an invisible jackhammer. It's not weakness, it's your adrenaline system kicking into overdrive. Adrenaline floods your bloodstream to prepare your muscles for fight or flight. Problem is, you're not fighting a bear, you're just trying to impress Karen from accounting. So all that energy has nowhere to go, and it leaks out as tremors. Basically, your body is trying to throw hands when all you're doing is public speaking. Number 2. The feeling of missing a step. You're walking down the stairs, misjudge the last one, and your entire body seizes like a Windows update gone wrong. That half second of terror? It's your vestibular system freaking out. Your inner ear and eyes constantly sync to track your balance. When that data suddenly doesn't match, like your foot landing earlier or later than expected, your brain briefly screams, Gravity's broken! and triggers a panic spasm. It's a leftover survival response from when losing your footing meant instant death. Now it just means you look like an idiot in public. Evolution never deletes old files, it just hides them under funny accidents. Number 1. Butterflies in your stomach. That fluttery feeling when you're nervous or in love? Cute, right? Except it's your digestive system being shut down by panic. When you're anxious or flirting, your brain activates the sympathetic nervous system, diverting blood away from your gut to your muscles in case you need to run for your life. The butterflies are just your stomach muscles spasming from lack of circulation. So whether you're on a first date or being chased by a bear, your body thinks they're basically the same situation. Imminent danger. In short, love isn't just in the air, it's in your fight-or-flight reflex.